What's up guys, West Coast Picks here, and today this mess on the table you see in front of you is uh, the Black Dolphin 90 Challenge, and that is to pick four different types of locks in one video, all in one go. And uh, I don't even know if it's still on anymore or anything like that. It's been really busy lately, and I've been seeing a bunch of videos of people doing it, so I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to start with a tubular. And then I'm going to move on to some of these other ones. A bunch of different types of locks here. So let's get started with the tubular lock. I'm going to try to pick it out of hand. Um, hope it works. There we go. Let's see if I can do this. I haven't picked a tubular lock in quite a while. Touching three. Six. Felt like a little bit more out of two. Touch out of three. Maybe serrated shins in here. It's an LSDA, so I'm sure it's got some kind of security pin in it. I'm getting multiple clicks per pin here. A bit more out of two. Three again. Five. Six. Three. Five. Six. Bit out of three again. Five. Five again. All right. Seven, one, seven, The reason I chose this one to start with is because I knew it was going to take me the longest out of all four. I haven't seen a lot of people using uh, choosing tubular locks for this challenge, so I thought I would. I don't know why. <laughs> there we go. It's on five, and we're open. As you can see, I've moved it a step, and as we all know, if you can get it one step, you can get it the rest of the way, especially with an impressioning tool. Um, next, we will do, well, let's go for the disc detainer lock. Works good. Ball pairing, uh, detaining, and everything like that. I believe it's a, it's a six disc or something like that. I can't remember. I have picked one of these before. I got about five of them. Um, might not have been this one, but I have picked one of these before. All right. So to start, you always just rotate them as far as they'll go clockwise. Um, this is bottom 
of the core tensioning. So I'll need the bottom of the core tensioning tool. And let's get her in there. Down to the bottom. Put some tension on it. And let's see what we can do here. Um, this one probably going to take me the second longest to pick. <laughs> Might not actually. They're, uh, these ones aren't all that hard. They're just... If you've ever pissed picked a disc detainer, it's hard to, um, sometimes if you turn one disc too far, or you have to turn it far to actually set it, uh, it's hard to get to the next one to set it. I've had four clicks here. I think there's only a couple left. hard to uh, do this all handheld here. There's another one. And there's only one left here somewhere. There we go. Last one. So, that is two down two to go next one we're going to do this uh ramson maz boot and it's a lot like a sergeant kiso but with no security pins we have i don't know if you could see that but there are pins on three sides of this lock and uh you know dimples all over the key it's a dimple lock so works good ramson maz boot so let's get a tension wrench in here and see if we can pick this thing open. Uh, the, one of the hardest parts of picking this guy is the uh, the shutter, the shutter over the keyway that kind of blocks it. So you got to hold it out of the way. It's a little bit of a pain, but um, no security pins in this thing. So uh, that being said, you pretty much just have to touch everything once, and uh, it's not that hard of a pick. Oh, as you can tell. As you can tell. So we got the Maz boot, Ramson Maz boot open. And last but not least is a standard pin tumbler. This is an 8345 Avis. And it's the lock we all know and love. So we got some top of the keyway in there. Uh, grab my pick. And see what I can do about getting in here. Like threes binding. Good false set off of him. Two is a spool. One is a spool. Touched five and it went a bit deeper of a false set, which means he's a spool. That was the top of the spool I was setting. Let's see if I can get the bottom. Must have dropped something. Okay, that was four. I touched four and it came back down. I dropped, what is this, two. Two is down again. It's a good old Avis spool dance. I'm sure we're all well familiar with that. And there's number four, guys. And uh, there we go. All four locks picked in under nine minutes. Um, I chose a different couple different types of locks. I haven't seen a lot of tubular locks on this challenge. I haven't seen a lot of disc to tumbler, disc tumblers on this, uh, or sorry, disc detainers on this on this challenge either. Uh, I've seen uh, a bunch of dimple locks. Um, you know, there's only so many different types of locks, so I had to choose <laughs> a couple of standards. Um, I was thinking of a wafer, but a lot of people are doing wafers, and they are, they are pretty easy. So, um, that's what I come up with. Anyway, thanks Black Dolphin 90 for coming up with this awesome challenge. It was a lot of fun. I'm not sure if it's uh, still on or anything like that. It doesn't really matter. I don't do this to win anything. I do this for the funds. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. And I uh, hope you guys take this challenge. Even if it's over, just go ahead and take the challenge. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun to challenge yourself to pick different types of walks. And, and especially in a row because, uh, you know, if you... 
pick them all in a row like that, um, it's it's more of an actual challenge. <laughs> it's not uh, it's not that easy to get all four in a row quickly. Um, this was my first attempt at this one, but these none of these are very difficult locks. So anyway, guys, give it a shot, and uh, hopefully you have as much fun as I did. <laughs> Later.